Drugs are not bad. Drugs are too bad. No, they're not. But the title says drugs are bad. Exactly. But they're not. Wait, what? <laughs> Some drugs are bad. Some drugs are good. We all know there's a big difference between using aspirin or cocaine to cure a headache. Namely, one's illegal and one isn't. But why? What makes cocaine, or any illegal drug, so bad? Well, the basis behind any drug is to change the way a person feels. In most medicines, that's done by the chemicals binding to proteins in our bodies to change how those proteins work. These produce effects that are meant to help with diseases or infirmities and have to be approved after years of testing by a government authority before they're allowed into the public. Illegal drugs are generally made illegal by governments that try to keep mind-altering, dangerous, and addictive substances out of the hands of the public. This is to protect other people from the actions of those under the influence, as well as promote health and discourage abusing drugs. But what about these illegal drugs makes them so bad? To understand how drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, or heroin work require knowing a little bit about the brain. There are three areas of the brain affected by drug use and abuse. The brain stem, which controls the most basic parts of life like breathing and heart rate. The limbic system, which links the parts of our brain that feel pleasure. And the cerebral cortex, which processes information from our senses and allows us to think and make decisions. Our brains are always sending messages from one part to other parts to communicate. This communication is done by releasing a chemical called the neurotransmitter into the brain. The empty space between two cells is called a synapse. The neurotransmitter goes across the synapse and attaches to receptors on the other cell, which communicates the message sent from the first cell. When you abuse illegal drugs, they mess with the sending and receiving of those messages. Most of these drugs also mess with your pleasure system by flooding your receptors with dopamine, the chemical that allows us to feel pleasure. The intense rush of dopamine that makes a drug user feel euphoric is called a high, and since we're wired to repeat behaviors that make us feel good, like eating, these drugs usually become highly addictive behaviors. Our brains realize that they were overloaded and cope in different ways. One is to reduce the number of receptors. This makes it so a user has to use more and more to receive the same high, also called a tolerance level. It's really sad because it means that things that make normal people happy, like seeing puppies, won't be as happy for drug abusers. Could you imagine? Cute little puppy noses not making you happy. What kind of life is that? Not a good one. Drugs have worse effects than just dulling your ability to be happy. They also affect the outer parts of your brain and change behavior and hardwire your brain to become more addicted. Brain activity in drug users is much less than normal brains, even long after drug use stops. Besides affecting the chemistry of your brain, drugs affect every aspect of your life. Your job, your family, your ability to make money, not to mention the many risks associated with overdosing. Drugs don't have to be illegal to be addictive, and it's important you only use them as prescribed. Other drugs, such as alcohol and tobacco, are legal but cause many problems when overused. We've said a lot about addictions, but maybe it's not clear why addiction should be avoided in the first place. When you're addicted to something, you become its slave. You can't chase your dreams or conquer the world if your addictions control you. It's like having chains that hold you down. Freedom from addiction gives freedom of action. It's also important not to fall into the glamour of addictive substances that can sometimes be portrayed in the movies and other media. With every glamorous appearance of an addictive substance comes a tragic unseen struggle that can have devastating consequences. Be smart, don't do drugs, and stay in school. All these things will help you have an unlimited future. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe or click this annotation to go to our blog. I'm Ashley. I'm Brittany. And this is Honors Grad U.